Yo, what is up guys? I am coming at you here with another video from Sector 394. As you guys know, this is one of my favorite sectors to be in. And let's start this video off with a nice little fail. Me trying to tackle a uh, completely max, not a completely max. This base shouldn't have been that hard. It had no anti-air turrets, but the javelins in there and the Valkyries just shredded right through my night owls. And um, yeah, that's the first fail of the day that I decided to put on video. So anyways, I'm coming at you here with another gameplay video of me attacking the whole sector with a couple of friends. Well, actually, only one friend, LJ Destroyer, was the one that was there at the beginning of the week. And then I had another guy jump in uh, about yesterday or the day before yesterday with two days left, left on my timer. So I'm not sure if I'm going to wait around or leave. But yeah, this video is just uh, me attacking mostly just all the... A montage of every base I hit here that that base you just saw me fail on I was very frustrated this is, this is a point I wanted to reiterate when when something like this happens like you lose all your units in a base don't don't you know get frustrated and angry and just start spamming all your units at it because it's never a good idea to do that you see um <clears throat> in this video I already lost my night owls on this base, right? So then I I was frustrated and mad, so I decided to bring in Kara. Now, right at the beginning of this video, I lost my dogs. So I decided to use the heavy operator right there to look for all the mines. So at this point, nothing is going right, and I'm already really frustrated, and I'm getting angry and just letting my emotion take over my logic. <clears throat> you should never, ever, ever let yourself do that. Because you're just going to end up with a lot of repair time and you're not going to get any, you know, there will be no good part to what you're doing. You see, so I'm just spamming stuff. I'm, I'm so mad. You guys didn't, I didn't record my reaction at this point, but I was so mad. I was cussing and just screaming at my computer because nothing was going right. I was getting lag spikes, you know, my car up, my, my dogs died so I couldn't look for the mines, my night owl was already dead. So I just was like, okay, I'm going to take the resources from this base, but because I was so angry, I was like, didn't care how much damage I was taking. You see right there, I had a pretty bad lag spike, and I was like, um, I thought my Banshees were going to die right there, good thing they didn't. But yeah, I was still pretty mad, and so then I decided to spam my Titan. See, I sent it right at the core, thinking I'm just going to get this Town Hall, but nope, then my Titan died. So now I'm up to 20 hours repair time on this base for air. And ground troops are going to be another like 10 hours if my car dies. So you guys, I'm not showing it in chat, but I'm pretty mad. I was really mad. And like, you see, then his bunker had special forces. And I was like, oh my god. Uh, this base sucks, man. I hate max bases. And another point I want to say is that this also shows how defense is so overpowered. It's like not even funny, man. People say, oh no, you can take out a good base. Even if... You know, you can take out a max base just by trying and using strategy. That's bullshit. You cannot take out max bases anymore without taking some serious damage. Even if you have a sandstorm and a titan, there's no way you can. As long as the base is filled up with special forces, there's no way to do it. It's just impossible nowadays. And that's what really sucks. So you see here, I did all that work and all that damage for 15 million thorium. And was it worth it? No, it was not worth it at all. I should have just let the base go once my night out was dead but instead I decided to let my pride take over and I got over 30 hours repair time so when that happens I highly recommend that you shut off your computer and forget about it for a couple hours and just let your stuff repair instead of losing even more stuff so as you guys can see here I'm just breaking out of my small jail this sector took a couple days to really get that kick for when they start jailing you really hard um they, they weren't it wasn't towards the end till towards the end of the week that they actually started jailing me like legit legit but yeah i i farmed a lot this week i took so much thorium from these low levels it's not even funny i got some more floating turrets up it's pretty pretty nice i'm starting to like them
so a lot of people have been using Valkyries in their base. I don't know why. You know, I mean, Valkyries are pretty good. If you put those Blitz rounds on them, yeah, they'll be pretty good, I guess. But the repair time is pretty big, and it's not worth it, in my opinion. Like, th those Valkyries with the Plasma Cannon, yeah, they're not gonna do anything to Night Owls. And then you just bring in your Titan. If you target Valkyries with a Titan, the Titan will stay wherever it's at, but the drones will move forward and kill it. And then the Avalanche turrets, Avalanche turrets don't have splash damage, so as long as you put like drones in front, so Titan or Banshees, the Avalanche won't hit anything, as long as you have enough drones. So with the story I kept stealing, at this point I had a lot of my stuff, um, all my, my workers were busy, like my buildings were busy, so I just kept spamming missiles and using it on missiles. I was upgrading my helipad, I think. I got it maxed. Well, I didn't get it maxed. I got it upgraded, that's what I meant. And this week, the lag has been horrible. The lag, like, when, when it attack bases and attack platoons, it sucks. Usually, I can load a platoon instantly and just, you know, finish it off. But here, you can see the wheels spinning forever. It's so annoying. And that's really frustrating for me. I can't play when that happens. So I was just trying to break out my my little brother there. <laughs> it's my little brother's account. So here's another base I took out. It has floating turrets, but there's no base defenders. So once your night owls clean up the base, you can just send in banshees to get the rest of it. Take out the core, take out all the everything that's gonna hit your banshees. And once it's only floaters, banshees will take them out. And the uh, AA plasma will just target the drones. And then I just sent in some more Night Owls and cleaned up the rest of the base for a nice haul of 26 million Thorium and 60 million resources. Unfortunately, I only got 16 million Thorium out of that. I decided to upgrade Sarkis. I hate that the attack box is broken. It says you take six, six, 26 million, but you only get like half, sometimes less, sometimes more. So there was, in this sector, there's lots of low levels, but there's also lots of medium levels. There's, that's what I like about this sector. There's like tons of low levels, like a lot, like to the point where I don't even attack them because there's so many. But there's also those medium levels where you can take them out with some damage, but you feel as if you're taking out bases your own level instead of those sectors where it's just low levels and then really, really high levels that you can't attack. So there's a glitch that's been going on. I don't know if anybody else has experienced it, but when you're in a base, you'll get the timer countdown, like the like a battle is about to begin. It happened in the base right before this one, I don't know if you guys saw it, but when that happens, you get 10 seconds, and if you don't leave the battle within those 10 seconds, then you're gonna disconnect. It happens every time, and it's happened to me like so many times it's like annoying now at first I was like okay maybe it's a one-time glitch but nope it happens over and over and over and I don't know why it is so annoying so like what happens is you'll be in a base attacking somebody and then somebody will start attacking your base back home but what will happen is that you'll get a countdown timer in the base that you're attacking but that should only happen when you're at your base not when you're attacking somebody else's base so I don't know what's going on, that's a really annoying thing that needs to be fixed like immediately because it is getting in the way of my RID and it is starting to bug the crap out of me. You'll see it, it happens a couple times in this video. So as you can see now this jail is getting pretty big. It's like, it's getting nice and big. But they're mostly buggies, it's still easy to break out. So here I was go-going my base. I don't know if you guys all know about this strategy. I messed up though, it killed part of my platoon. Um, you just go go bar your base. You, you you go to your go go bar and you turn, you send in night owls and just destroy your own base. That way, when the people outside attack you, you only lose one star of infamy instead of losing three stars of infamy. So if you would lose usually 60 infamy, you'll only lose 20. So here, I had already just picked apart my jail. I skipped over it because it was all buggy, and then I started sending out platoons all over the map. Nobody was online to notice, ex 
except Sunny. I guess he was online, but he was too far away to do anything about it. So I just sent out my nine platoons as I usually do, all over the map. Had a lot of bookmarks. Oh, he attacked me. That's like the first time he's ever been able to out snipe me. But doesn't matter, I still got out. So yeah, I got nine platoons out all over the map. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Another weak base bites the dust. I mean, destroying bases like this is fun, but I don't like that I take damage on my night owls. That's why I want a sandstorm. If I had a sandstorm, I would be able to flat all these bases with absolutely no damage, and that would be awesome. This base, I just wanted to use my Archangel. I haven't been using it, so I wanted to take something out. There's a timer you'll see right now. So once it hits zero, you will disconnect. It, I guess it's supposed to be taken back to your base, but you disconnect, and I was worried because my Archangel had been in there, and as it circles and circles around, the Blitz was gonna just hit it and hit it and hit it, but good thing I left it targeting on the Town Hall, so it took it out. But yeah, then that's when I realized, okay, I need to, um, Whenever that happens, you need to leave the base you're attacking. So, if you're attacking a base, put your defense, your units on defense, like right there. Leave the base, and if you join the battle again, you'll be fine. So right now I'm just realizing, I think I need to add the armor to my Archangel, the one that makes it slower, because I added um, some other things that make it fast, and I don't like how fast it's been. It moves too fast and it's hard to retarget. It doesn't take out the platforms in one pass. So yeah, I think I'm going to be installing that armor that makes it go slower. I also hate how the walls block splash damage, that's annoying. So you need a target with on the inside of the wall, unless you want to kill the wall first, which is going to take forever. So now that I took out the edge of this base, I just sent in the Night Owls and pretty much destroyed the rest of it. I didn't need to use the Archangel, but I just got bored and I wanted to use it, so... It's another weak, weak base, but I like killing those hover tanks because it's such a heavy repair time on the person that I'm attacking. Hover tanks have an insanely long repair time. So here, I don't know why I was targeting the edges of the, the command center. It's um, that blitz turret is like level one or two. It's not gonna outrange my archangel, so I could have just targeted the core. It didn't matter. But once all those cover tanks were down, I just sent in the night owls and it was all over. So here's another base. I was I was gonna attack them, but then with when that screen loaded, I saw all the units under, and I was like, whoa, okay, let's just not attack them instead. Let's just take these resources. So I love when people leave their resources outside like this. When I get my cy my cyclones next event, I'm gonna definitely be able to do this a lot more because of their long range, it's going to be pretty good. Because I don't like doing it with Banshees, it's kind of dangerous. Especially when the rocket tiles like that hit it, they'll go forward sometimes and like just die. So yeah, that was, that was a nice little haul, I got like 4 million for him. This was another player, one of my favorite players in this sector, the bubble. It's like a level 31, but still. Angel eyes. Flat. So this base, I disconnected halfway, and then when I came back, the walls were gone. It was kind of weird. I don't know why that happened, but yeah, the walls were just completely gone. Well, they weren't actually gone, they were just gone from like, I couldn't see them. But they weren't like actually gone. And then I tried targeting them, but nothing happened, so. But once I, like you see, once I reloaded, oh I didn't show it, but once I reloaded and went back to the base, 
the walls were back. It was, it was weird. I don't know why that happened. So there's another base that was popped full of Valkyries and Wraith. The Wraith are pretty good against Night Owls, so you want to be careful with those. But they also have an insanely long repair time. So I lagged right there, you, I, you couldn't see what happened, but I had a pretty bad lag spike. And I, I had no idea what was going on in the base. When, I, when, when the lag was over, the whole base was just destroyed already, so... I wanted to get my Night Owls out, but I couldn't. So then I sent in my Titan to kill all these Valkyries. What you want to do with the Titan is put it on attack move, which is the A hotkey, and then just walk it over to the left side, and the Titan will move, but the drones will target the Valkyries. Now that's a pretty neat trick to do when you're trying to kill Valkyries that are coming for you. So here I was just bragging, they can't outclick me in chat, because it's true, I honestly have one of the best connections of anyone I've ever met, and um, nobody, 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 I have never met anybody that can outclick me on a platoon battle. Like, they'll get me every now and then, just because, you know, I miss click somewhere, but I've never met anybody that can actually outbeat me in click battles. So this base hit a lot of hover tanks, I shouldn't have attacked it, but... Yeah, I don't know why I did. I wanted the Thorium. The Hover Tanks just tore my Night Owls up. So I was kind of mad and I was like, okay, I'm going to take out all these buildings on the edge. Get the resources, take out his upgraded buildings, his research, anything that was working and take it out. So I just circled my Archangel over and over, taking out all the resources. I was waiting for the... Oh yeah, the battle at my base was already over, so I was good. So I walked away with a lot of resources actually from this base. It's already up to, what was it at? I don't know what it was at, I didn't notice. I didn't check. So I sent in another shock missile to distract those other tanks and I tried to get the Thoria and deposit it there. As you can see, one shock missile did land, but because it landed on the outside of the wall, and the walls blocked the splash damage, it didn't actually shock anything. Which I think is stupid, it's annoying that walls block shock or splash damage, they shouldn't do that. So you see, I'm up to 31 million thorium and 60 million resources. That's what it says I looted, but I didn't actually loot that much. When I went back to my base, it only had about 15 million, I think. So that's a serious problem that needs to be fixed. I hate how they do that. This was another player, Batgirl I think, very weak base, very easy to three star. I decided to just attack her for fun. I always love flooding her when I come to 394, but I hadn't found her base until very recently. And it was 70 in me, so I was like, yeah, why not? So I just took out the core with my Night Owls, and once the core was out, all that was left was the floating turrets. You want to be careful with Avalanche because Avalanche will, as it powers up, it'll kill your Night Owls very good. So, I just sent in my Banshees, walked them around the base, took out the floaters, and from there it was over. I can't wait to max my helipad so I can bring more Banshees. Because I only carry 4 or 5 Banshees around and that's a little bit of Banshees. So, there's very little room for error or you will lose all your Banshees. So yeah, I just flattened the rest of her base. Easy, easy, very good resources, very good infamy. And once again, that is it guys. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Um, I'm going to have a double upload today. So this is just the first video. I'm going to have the second video where I explain how to platoon fight and 
prove that my connection is very good. So yeah, thank you for watching everybody and I'll see you guys in my next video.